G'day, Paul here down at the beach and I'm here to bring a word from the, from the Lord out of the Gospel of Mark. We've been doing readings through the Gospel of Mark and in short bursts. Today's a little bit longer but I, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's from Mark chapter 6 where Jesus feeds the 5,000. Reading from verse 30. The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then because so many people were coming and going, they did not even have a chance to eat. He said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognised them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of him. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. By this time it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's already very late. Send the people away so that they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, you give them something to eat. They said to him, that would take more than half a year's wages. Are we going to spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? How many loaves do you have? He asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said five and two fish. Then Jesus directed them all to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties, taking the five loaves and the two fish, he, looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of men who had eaten was 5,000. Now that is miracle working power. To convert two fish and five loaves <coughs> in enough pieces and grow it enough to feed 5,000 people has got to be miracle working God. Jesus was and is a miracle worker. He fed the 5,000. He helped the lame to walk and the blind to see. He raised the dead. He walked on water. He was the Son of God. And when we crucified him like a criminal and he shed his blood for us on that brutal cross, and was buried in a tomb, he rose from the dead and went to be <coughs> seated at the right hand of the Father after he was seen by about 500 people here on earth. So we're talking about the Son of God. We're talking about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God, and those who believe in him or call upon his name will be saved. You want to become a believer of Jesus Christ, just call on his name. Tell him you believe in him and that he rose from the dead and you will be chosen and have a place with him in glory when your time is up. And all of us have a destiny. First of all with death, but then we have a destiny with either with Jesus in heaven or in the other place which is not so very friendly. There you go, there's a little word for today. Jesus feeds the 5,000 and he'll continue to feed us if we'll listen to him, if we'll take him on board, if we'll obey what he says and follow him. He says, pick up your cross, deny yourself, follow me, and he will make us a child of God. Hallelujah. Get into the word and let the word of God get into you. See you later from Coolum Beach. Bye-bye.